everybody and welcome back to Sky T. In the last episode, we worked on a few machines, I believe, and we also fixed our power. Yeah, because we were having issues where our power just wasn't enough and, well, we needed to fix that. And these magmatic dynamos weren't enough, but once we got ourselves into power and got ourselves an ionic reactor, we're having no issues. Now, it says we're kind of out of power in this guy at the moment, but as you can see, I swapped out the basic cables that were here. I did try the advanced cables, um, but they were just weren't uh, doing enough. So I've gone ahead and made the niotic cables from power, which I actually do like an input and output of 500k, which is more than enough than what we can use at the moment. And then I have this energy cell niotic right here, which can hold 50 million. And I'm not sure if that means 1 million in and out, but we're only using 40k at the moment, which is all right. That's pretty much the maximum this guy here even generates. So today what I want to do is work on our bees. Hopefully what I want to do is get ourselves all of these bees I have right here and maybe more. Uh, and once we get those set up, it means we'll be able to get further into power because we'll have our quarry bee who will get us the verdinium chips, which are needed for the spirited crystals. And then we should be able to progress and even make more power. And then we'll be able to start working on other things like blood magic. Because once we get into blood magic, that's when some of the really fun things start to happen. So I can't wait. And also we need to get into applied logistics as soon as possible. So maybe we'll like, look into doing that now next episode. I'm not sure. So what I want to do quickly right now is I want to actually set up another reactor. I have everything for it. Uh, it turns out we actually made more than enough... Um, capacitors last episode to actually do this so let's just set up a second reactor and remove this piece of cable too and we'll set it up right here there we go so water dry ice redstone and coal and then we give it its fuel and we just need a little bit more cable and there we go so now we can hook everything here up to power right so they should be able to provide anything we need with enough power and i'm also going to get myself another plug to put there so let's actually grab that so to make some of the things, oh, I've already made them. Nice. Okay. So using the flux blocks, we want a plug and we're also going to want a controller now for today. Ooh, what are we missing? Oh, some flux cores. Okay, there we go. So that will be able to provide us with wireless power. And the reason I want that is because you know how we got create a flight last episode. Well, I want to actually get a different version of it. The whole idea was that I wanted to get the angel rings, but unfortunately we were having issues where we couldn't get nether stars because we needed skulls and you can only get skulls from the baby skeletons and I could not find them anywhere. I have not seen a single one of these guys. Well, it turns out if we were to get some sort of spawning of uh, regular wither skeletons and stick a beheading upgrade onto the mob masher, we actually might get some skulls. You were telling me in the comments where if I put witch water in here and any skeletons or creepers that touch it, uh, the skeletons will turn into wither skeletons and the creepers will turn into charged creepers. But if we had to be heading upgrade in there, any skeleton that spawns pretty much will be turning into a wither skeleton and drop a skull. Well, that is a good idea, but I'm actually going to do this instead. I'm going to get myself a mob swab, two of them, because I want to be able to have a chance to turn uh, the spawner back into a blaze spawner. And I did find another fortress a bit more south of the current one we have. And let me turn on my map so I can see where things are. There's a Wither Skeleton down here, so that's perfect. So I just want to grab your DNA and... Now, okay, he's fighting that guy. There we go. And now I just want to quickly find a Blaze. It says there's a Blaze over here. Yep, there he is. Ah, there's even a spawner, so we might even be okay. Ah! We're on fire! Anyway, so using those two DNA things now, we come home and we need to get ourselves out two buckets. We need two buckets of experience and then combine the, the mob swab, the bucket and a seed together to get some GM chicken feed. And then if we feed this to our chickens, we will get ourselves the spawn eggs. So you get that and you get that. And they went in here. But there we go. We have ourselves a blaze spawn egg and a wither skeleton spawn egg. Now, all we have to do is probably grab out some other blocks. I'm also going to need some tinted uh, glass because we're going to be fighting the wither now. So give me a couple stacks of that so we can build a chamber to kill him in. That should be enough now. And a wand just to help me build it. Okay, so um, now that we have that, we need to be heading upgrades. So to be heading upgrades are diamond helmets, block of redstone, and a block of gold. And I think we get one as a quest reward. Um... 
yeah, so we get one of the quest rewards, so we only need to make nine. So that means we need nine blocks of gold, nine blocks of redstone, and nine diamond helmets. Nice. And before I forget, I'm just going to put down the controller right here. Set the network, wireless charging, select every available slot. Inventory charging is not available, but if you really wanted that, you could change it in the configs. And then put down the point over here just for the reactors. I put it away. Oh, I already put it down. Oh, I thought I didn't. Oh, and actually, let's just get these guys actually going right now. So this is the induction smelter. I'm going to turn you this way and say input there. Put these in here and then all of the diamond helmets. And that will make us all of the, uh, the upgrades. One thing I want to show you over here is the last episode we set up this dreadful dirt setup or delightful dirt setup for making ourselves pink slime. But we were having a slight issue where grass was spawning and it was pre preventing mob spawning on this guy. So I set up this little rig right here, which dispenses water every like, I don't know, two, three minutes to flush away all of the grass and allow the mobs to spawn. And for some reason, they're not spawning right now, which is a bit odd. Am I too close to it? I don't know. But you can see water uh, went out. And after like a second, it picked it back up. Because uh, I have down here a redstone timer set to, I don't know, 600 ticks. And um, divide that by 20 to find the time. Um, so that will do instant drop the water. And then I have a pulse repeater for one second. That will then activate the same thing again to pick back up the water. So it's pretty cool. And it prevents like all of the grass from being here and allows all the mobs to spawn, as you can see. So it's very nice. Right, they're all done. So now we can go to the nether. So nine beheading upgrades. We'll get a quest rewards. And that gives us 10. Okay, so in the nether, I never actually think I showed this, but in our original nether fort, I've built this guy, which is basically just a blaze spawner and a mob masher. So in there, you have your mob masher. Oh God, are we going to have to deal with a ghast? Probably. But I'm going to put the mob beheading upgrade in there. And now what I want to do is just take out a few blocks here and build up. And then across and I'm right click it. Now, usually I think you need apotheosis for this, but I believe it still works regardless. Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure because usually I have apotheosis in when I do that, but it seems it doesn't matter. Maybe it's a vanilla mechanic. If anyone knows uh, what, what mechanic allows me just to put one spawner into that guy, you can let me know down in the comments. This is gassed, I don't know. But now what we have to do is pretty much wait for them to spawn. As you can see, we got a Wither Skeleton Skull. Nice. Now we just sit here in AFK for a while until we have enough. Realistically, all we need right now is two skulls, and eventually we could probably set up like a mob simulator for them, but... Mm, yeah, we'll only get the two for now. So I just need six skulls. So we should have enough skulls now, but unfortunately I do not have any soul sand because I've sieved it all. Um, so I just need to collect some. And because it's so Sam Valley, it's pretty easy to do so. So, Nether Fort. And how many skulls do we have now? We have 10. Um, I don't know why they're so slow to spawn. But I've also gone ahead and built myself the, the Wither Killing Chamber. So, this is a pretty small room. And we should be able to spawn the Wither in here. And I think we're going to do two Withers. So, there we go. Oh, we need to run away or we might die. Oh, actually, that pigment's close enough. It might mean that we might... I get our wither self wither rose. Yeah, look, they're all being angry now. So all I need now is for the with the pigment to go inside and die to the wither somehow. Oh, he did die. Okay, we're done. The only thing is I might annoy the pigment as well. Oh my God, there's so many of them. All right, I don't seem to have a choice. I'm going to have to annoy all the pigment as well. Oh, wow. Okay, they're dealing a lot of damage. I need to keep an eye on the mini map so I don't get snuck up on. But yeah, for more or less, just need to sit here and kill the withers. There's one down, and we just take out the second one fairly quickly. There we go. So now we have ourselves our two nether stars. The reason I needed the wither roses is to be able to make the withered bee later on. I just need to give it to a wither or just regular skeleton to make the withered bee. That's all I needed it for. So now with the two stars, we can go ahead and make our ring. So we need an angel block, and then that makes us a diamond ring. And then we should be able to make this guy right here. Do I have everything? I do. Can I upgrade you? Probably not. Uh, oh, wait, I need two more tires. Okay, so that's not going to happen. But since we have wireless charging, we should be able to just put in this angel ring slot here, and it's fully charged. Now we have proper creative flight, meaning we can come over here, because I did make myself the night vision module. But unfortunately, when you put it in here, it just drains too much power. So since we don't need flight anymore, we can just have the night vision in here, which makes it really nice to see around the base. For instance, over here in the mob farm, before we couldn't see inside it, now we can. 
it was really nice. But now it's time to head to the Bumble Zone. So I've also been doing a lot of trading with villagers. And yeah, I got myself a lot of stuff. So I have over a stack of expansion boxes and oak beehives. To get the beehives, the special ones, the advanced ones, I need block of rosin, crystals, simple machine frames, porous honeycomb blocks, and beehive wax. Well, all of that is easy, bar the rosin. Well, it's easy as well, but it's just a tedious process to go through. I need a fractioning still, resin, which I need to explore the extractors on spruce trees. And then that makes tree oil, and then you can refine that into fuel if you wanted to. But, yeah, we don't need that. So it's easier just to buy them from villagers. Uh, I had the area over here, I had like five to six beekeepers and i was buying all the hive that they were selling and also because of that then too i've also got myself a ton of bee cages yeah we should have no issue catching as many bees as we want and i do also have some other things in here i was going to make myself the crusher and um, for upgrading our furnaces um but i can do that later right to the bumble zone now that we have flight it shouldn't be any issue of catching them Right, here we are. So we can just drop down here, make myself a little path, and you can see all the bees. They're not angry right now because I didn't do anything yet, but all we have to do now is just fly around until some sort of bee that pops up on the map that we want to catch. Usually they're indicated by like a little white dot. And also there's so much comb as well, we could just like mine it all. What block is this? Glowing. Oh, I just saw one appear on the map, but then he instantly despawned. That's something I have noticed as well. The bees that we kind of want instantly spawn, but as soon as they spawn, they instantly also despawn, which is so annoying because you're like, oh, bee, and then it's gone. Uh, that's a lot of pollen. Oh, okay. We have a whole pollen biome here. Pollinated fields. Okay. Heard a slime. Where's slime? There's slime. Tons of pollen can't be healthy. <laughs> oh, look, leaving right here. Okay, so we have... um a gold bee so we can capture him nice it says there's a phantom over here yeah look at him what are you doing hey phantom membrane because there's no day or night cycle i guess this is the only place you can get them which is pretty cool oh my god look how thick this is it's like powdered snow tactical pollen oh wait i have an ability hidden wait does that mean if i make bees angry hang on uh, is there any honey around here i can break Oh my god, look at this guy. Here we go, the behemoth. Look at this dude. He's so big. <laughs> oh, I see a bee on the map over here. Oh, never mind. It's just a number behemoth. Uh, oh, but no, this one over here is an actual bee I can get. How did I get to you? Where are you? There's something on the map right there. Hang on, let me break this. Would this work? By breaking this honey, uh, since bees are angry, will that make them want to come to me? And allow me to be able to catch this guy. That's the only thing. I'm going to have to dodge all the bees. But it makes it fairly easy to do that. Where is he? He must be spawning somewhere else. Because I'm not seeing him here. Oh, actually, now we can test it. Uh, are we invisible to the bees if we were to stand in really tall pollen? I don't know if this stuff will count. Nope, they're still charging at me. Um, Where is some deep pollen I can go to? Oh, I guess this stuff over here. So bees are angry step inside they have no clue where i am so that's actually really cool right i'm gonna fly around for probably like 20 minutes half an hour and see how many bees i can pick myself up i'm hoping to try and grab like a bunch of like the bees that we do need like ender um ender diamond emerald all the kind of basic resource bees uh hopefully we can find them like what is actually on the map right here a redstone bee so i'm gonna see if i can try and figure out where he is they seem to be kind of getting close to me. Oh, my effect is gone now. Where is this redstone bee? He must be like up in something. Oh, it looks like he despawned off the map. Okay. Well, we're just going to keep going around until we find stuff. All right. I'm not spending any more time in there. I've got myself quite a selection of bees right here. From anywhere from crystalline, slimy, ghostly, iron, glowing, experience, obsidian, gold, skeletal, uh, more obsidian. I think I have an ender bee in here somewhere. I could be wrong. Also, can someone explain to me why the redstone bee is called like a redstone or like a red ab stone bee? Where'd he go? Oh, I did get an ender bee. Okay. Wasn't sure because I saw one on the map, but I lost him. 
Okay, now it's called a redstone bee. When I was in there fi finding them, they were called like red astone bee, which is weird. But anyway, so what I want to do now is actually set up the area for them. We have actual creative flight now. I can fly all the way out into the void. Lovely. Why is there nether rack here? That must have been there maybe when I was changing out the deep slate. Um, but yeah, so what I want to do now is just extend this corridor a bit and put the bees on the side of this arm right here i don't know whether or not i want to like have them in simulations or do i actually want to have them out in the open like flying around inside a dome um yeah i don't know what i want to do with them but anyway i need to pretty much build an area for them so i guess let's do that Okay, there we go. Bees are pretty much fully set up. There's still probably a lot of things wrong with this thing, but I just love having the bees flying around. It's so nice. Um, so yeah, it's like they're just flying around, finding their block, pollinating, and going into the hives. And yeah, it's actually working quite well. Uh, if we come down here, where I have the X-Net set up, oh, that's kind of cool, all the colored blocks on the ceiling, we can see we're making honey. And if you look in this chest here, you can see we're getting tons of different comb. Now, of course, we're going to have to figure out a way to actually process all of this. Um, but that's probably going to be done through Applied Energistics. So we'll probably do that in a couple of episodes. But just getting a bunch of comb built up right now is good. So there's still two more things I want to do. And one, uh, there was a third one, but I would actually think that's not a good idea at the moment. What are you doing? Oh, you're the Emerald Bee. Why are, where are you going? I don't think I actually set up the Emerald Bee's um, thing. So one of them is like for this experience bee right here. I have no block for him to pollinate on. Did the emerald bee come down? I don't see him anymore. He must have come down or done something. Eh, he's around here somewhere. I just hope some bees don't actually escape. Ah, that's highly unlikely. So yeah, uh, what I want to do is actually be able to give the experience bee some stuff. So if I look up experience, the experience, that's a creeper bee. Where's, oh, 
EX. There we go. That's why I didn't see it. Experience Bee requires this solid XP, which requires XP Jelly Babies. To get that, we need a solidifier, which is made like this. So we need a bucket of experience. Surround that then in gold nuggets. That makes us a mold. Put that in here makes the XP Jelly Baby. And then we just need the actual XP solidifier, which is two entity conveyor belts. And I think I have all the rest. Oh, no, I don't have the tank. There we go. And all we need then is just a pipe. And I've actually got the morphing tool here, which I can actually use. And uh, all I need to do is just run the experience down, put this guy right there, put the mold in. Okay. And then tell this thing here to extract and turn. Oh, okay. Turn on. And then I'm just going to use my time in a bottle to speed everything up. Oh, okay. So they don't actually necessarily stack. So if I just grab like a drawer quickly here and put it right here and say push north. So it's automatically going into here. Nice. We just need enough for a block and we have enough for three blocks here. So that'll do. And now he's going for it. Perfect. So uh, the other thing we probably want is our quarry B now. And for him, I think we'll probably want the simulation um, upgrade because I don't want him harvesting anything else because I think he likes to harvest on dirt, um, which isn't necessarily good for us. So what I need to do now is actually make ourselves the nests to actually spawn in the bees needed for making the quarry bee. I don't know if it consumes the sword or not, but we need a gravel nest. Uh, it does consume the sword. Okay. And we also need a stone nest. Using these two nests, and if we get some treats, we should be able to summon ourselves a digger bee and I think the chocolate mining bee. Yeah, combining the two of these together gives us the quarry bee. So we'll just do this over here, which is just very simple. Two of those down. It doesn't matter what biome they're in as long as it's in the overworld. And I'm just going to Fiji a lot of treats. So yeah, it has a cooldown on the top. Um, there are no bees in this location. Wait, really? Well, what biome do I have to put this in? Native to warm rivers and beaches. Oh. Um. Okay, is there a different biome this guy can spawn in? he can spawn in any of these guys so maybe just a dirt nest okay so yeah I'll just make myself a dirt nest there we go and then i can just spam it with treats just to bring down the timer have my things ready and what bees do we get okay an ashy mining bee that's not the one we want and okay we got our digger bee so we just need to wait so we can break this nest and i guess time in a bot would also work okay ashy mining bee we're looking for the chocolate mining bee there we go so, uh, the next thing we probably want is a breeding chamber. So, we're going to need one of these. So the baby upgrade. And there we go. And we're probably also going to want the incubator. Just to accelerate their own growth. All right. There we go. So, don't need them. We just need these two right here. And it says any flower works. So, we'll just grab out some poppies. I believe these guys also do require power. So, for the time being, we'll just do it up here somewhere. We'll just hook them up right here. Yeah, they both need power. So, these two in. Quarry B. Give them the, that and then the actual uh, food. And now I'll give it some time. We're probably going to end up having like a couple quarry bees. So I might as well wait or get a few, not wait. One. And we'll go for three. Three for now. If we need more, we'll breed more. There we go. And now we need to grow them up. And I believe these also require some treats. There we go. So we have our three adult quarry bees. Put the other bees away. And now we need verdinium. Verdinium, I believe I have due to our quarry, which we'll have a look now. This thing has been going insanely well. Uh, if I open my map here, you can see it's been clearing out all of this. It's actually kind of not loaded some, but you can see it's actually on a third row here. And we have so many resources in here. It's ridiculous. Like nearly 2k tin. And I've been taking out a lot of silver and tin already. But this thing's actually working as fortune tree, which is amazing. Uh, this stuff right here. This is Viridium. Viridium? Viridium? I don't know if I'm saying that right. But hopefully now I can just put down this somewhere over here and the bees will use it. Uh, I might need to use the simulation thing in a feeding slab. You know what? Just to guarantee it. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. And the simulator upgrade. Just to be on the safe side. Just I just really want to make sure that they are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. So we should be able to break the block here as long as the bees don't go anywhere. Uh, of course, there's bees in here. Can I, I should be able to take them out once I put the simulator upgrade in. I don't know if that means bees can actually enter the hive now. Hopefully not. If they do, well, then we're going to have an issue. Might have to put 
uh, simulator upgrading and everything eventually. All right, there we go. And then we can put these guys in and then give them their feeding block. Okay, hopefully nothing else goes in. We might actually need to fill the whole thing up. You know what? Let me go get two more bees. All right, there we go. We're maxed out on our quarry bees. So if we come down here now, uh, I might need to put these guys back out. But look, there we go. 27 viridium chips which is now we can use to make our spirited crystals. The only thing we also need is the uranium crystal, which does require us to go through the whole ore processing setup through mechanism, which we're definitely going to have to do anyway. So yeah, uh, there's still, is there something else I wanted to do? I can't necessarily remember. Let me just put these guys back out. Are they going back to the same hive? No, they're going to a different one now. Yeah, they all went in the same one. Nice. And actually about the redstone bee, look, he's actually named Red, redstone bee. Where'd he go? Which, which hive did you go into? I don't know where he went, but you saw his name tag. It was like red a red a stone b, red a stone b. So I don't know if that's rare or something, but he was named when I found him. So that's a bit strange. Are you wandering around? You should have stuff. Yeah, blazing lantern. That's all you need. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, everything in here should basically have its own uh, block to feed off of. And if there's anything missing, I'll just add it. Eventually, we'll probably set this up properly where we have production upgrades, simulator upgrades, and pokey pokey things. Um, but for now, this works. It's good. And how are we looking on our stuff? Yeah, we're getting plenty of comb. So for next episode, I think we're about ready to get into applied logistics. What are we missing? Skystone. I think there's a way of making Skystone. Um, I think you have to smelt a certain block. I know there's a way of getting Skystone. Oh, it's the actual dust. We get the dust by pulverizing Scoria uh, or crushing it in here. So, yeah, so we can get Skystone no problem. And if you remember, a whole island and the start was made of Skystone. So we do have a, quite a bit lying around. Um, so, yeah, I think, yeah, this seems all easy enough. Like Fluix cables made in here. Fluix crystals we can grow from the seed. Um, that's made by using charged third quartz. And we're getting tons of it from the mining dimension. So... Yeah, I, I believe we're ready. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell while you're at it then as well. So without any further ado, goodbye. <laughs>